This video is going to show you how to create a simple drag and drop game in Adobe Flash using ActionScript 3. In this game we're going to have a picture of this boy that you can see on your screen right now and we're going to give him a few extra clothes that he can put on. So I'm going to draw in some extra shirts and some extra shorts that can be dragged and dropped on top of his body. To begin with we just need to get into Flash and make ourselves a new ActionScript 3 file and click on OK. I'm going to go to the magnification box here and go fit in window so I can see the stage a little bit clearer. And we need to bring that picture of the boy into our um, documents. So we go to the file menu, go down to import and import to stage. Go into curriculum drive, find the picture of the boy and click on open. There he is and it's up to you to trace him now okay so remember the first thing we do is rename layer one to original and lock it into place then we make a second layer i'm just going to call it boy and this second layer is where we're going to trace on top of the original layer okay remember to trace we use the line tool you can use the pen tool if you think you're good enough but I think the line tool is a lot easier, so I'll grab the line tool, change the stroke color to something that's going to stand out, so I might choose green for this one, nice bright fluoro green, and start connecting the lines around the boy's body. Remember when you get to curves, just go to the nearest point, hold down control on your keyboard, and you can click and drag that line into position. Okay, so just keep doing that the whole way around the boy until you get his outline completely drawn. Once you've got that, use the fill bucket to colour him in. I'm just going to pause the video now while I quickly trace around my boy. I'll colour him in and then I'll delete the original layer when I'm done. So I'll be back in just a moment once I'm finished tracing him. Okay, I'm back again and I've finished tracing the boy and I have coloured him in. You can, you can see that I've used very neutral colours for his clothing. I want you to do the same, okay, because we're going to use brightly coloured clothing to dress him up in, in a moment. But for now, they're just simple colours, so I chose grey. Now, the boy's pretty much finished for now. The last thing we need to do is pretty much copy and paste his t-shirt a few times, so we have a few extra t-shirts. And the same for his shorts, we'll copy and paste them a few times. So we've got a few extra pairs of shorts to wear. So I'm going to zoom in and do his shirt first of all. Just going to click on all the outlines of his shirt while holding down shift to select them all. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but it won't take you too long. So just clicking on all the black lines around the outside of the shirt. Once they're all highlighted, I need you to click inside the shirt once, so it selects the shirt as well. That looks pretty good. And it's just a matter of going up to Edit and Copy, making a new layer called Clothing, and going to Edit and Paste. You can choose any of those. I'm just going to choose Paste in Center. And there's a new shirt that we can use for the, the boy. You can go over to the Fill Bucket here and change the color of the shirt. Copy and paste it again, pick another colour, maybe one more time, we'll get our last colour. Okay, that was simple. I'm going to do the same for the shorts now as well. So zoom in on the shorts, start by holding down shift and clicking on all the black lines of the shorts. Again, a little bit of a fiddly process, but it won't take you too long. Okay, when you're done, click on the inside colours of the shorts to select those as well. Go up to Edit and Copy. Remember to click on the clothing layer before you paste it in. Then you can paste it in the centre. And there's a pair of shorts, so I'll copy and paste that another two times. So the shorts have a few more colours in them, so you're going to have to go around and fix those shorts one by one. So I might go with a bluish colour scheme for this one. Okay, 
It's good. I might go a reddish colour scheme for this one. Okay, so either side of him now, we've got a few pairs of shirts and a few pairs of shorts. We're done with the boy, so I'm going to lock that layer now, so we can no longer edit him. We can't move him around or colour him in. And for each piece of clothing, you're going to need to convert them to we're going to need to convert them to symbols. So to do that, you need to first of all highlight completely around the first pair of shorts, and you can either press F8 or go up to modify and convert to symbol. Leave it as a movie clip and just give it a name. So I'm just going to call it green shorts underscore MC. That MC stands for movie clip. Click OK. You can see now it's all connected together. That's one big picture. It's a little symbol. Do the same for the others. So press F8. I'm going to call this one red shorts underscore MC. And the last one be yellow shorts so convert it to a symbol oops not yellow it's blue sorry blue shorts underscore MC that's the shorts done do the same for the shirts you need to go over here highlight the shirts F8 I've got a blue shirt underscore MC here we've got a green shirt underscore MC and then up here we've got a red shirt underscore MC so that's all our items of clothing converted to symbols remember when we need to animate something we need to convert them to symbols first of all since we're going to be able to pick these up and move them around our stage they needed to be converted to symbols because they are being animated the boy however He's not being touched really, he's just going to sit in the one spot like a background. So he doesn't need to be changed at all. So we don't have to worry about converting him to a symbol. Okay, the next thing we need to do is give each of the clothing, each piece of clothing, a name, an instance name up here in your properties box. So I'm going to start with the red shirt. I'm just going to call it red shirt. No spaces. Next one will be green shirt. Next one down will be blue shirt. And you'll see later on we do some coding with the action script where these names come in handy. Oops. So make sure you call these shorts and not shirts. Like I just did. And the last one will be blue shorts. Okay, so they've all got instance names now. So those names can be used in our coding very shortly. The other names we put in earlier, where we did the underscore MC, if you go to your library over here, that's where they've been named. Okay, so you can see all the items, all the symbols in our library. Okay, so that's where those names are used. And the instance names that we typed in up here will be used in our action script code in just a moment. Okay, so it is time now to put some action script into our animation to make the drag and drop feature work. If I was to preview this now, this is how our little game would look. At the moment when I'm clicking and dragging, nothing is moving. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. Let's put a bit of code in to make this work. And we're going to let Flash do a lot of the coding for us. I'm going to simply click on the first pair of shorts. And I'm going to go to my code snippets panel. That's just this one here. Okay, if you can't see that, you need to go to your window menu, go down to code snippets, and it will appear. You've got heaps of different options here, and Flash has written the code for you, which is really handy. So go to the first one where it says actions and expand that. There's our drag and drop function right there. So I'm just going to double click on it. What that does is automatically inserts the code for the green shorts up in our actions box. 
Okay. The first thing it did though on our timeline was create an actions layer. If you ever want to put action script into your animation, you need its own layer called actions. So when I'm clicked on that layer, I can go to the actions frame and have a read of what was just put in. So what it says up here, we've got some comments. This isn't actually part of the code. It just tells us what the code below is going to do. So it says it makes the specified symbol instance movable with drag and drop. So the code actually starts down here. Let's have a read of this actual code. It says green shorts, that's the instance name that we gave it before. So that was up in there, we called it green shorts. To go back to the actions again. Dot add event listener. So Flash is going to start listening for an event that's about to occur. And it's going to listen for a mouse event. So when we use our mouse and push the mouse button down, I'm going to start this function called click to drag. If we look a bit further down, it tells us more about this function. Okay, and it says when we click on the green shorts, we're going to start the drag, which means while we're holding our mouse down, while it's clicked, we're going to be able to drag the green shorts around the stage. While we're doing that, we're going to be listening for another event, and that's another mouse event. When the mouse is lifted up, so pretty much when the button is lifted up, we've taken our finger off the mouse button, we're going to release to drop. So looking further down into that function down here, the release to drop means the green shorts will stop being dragged when we release the finger off our mouse button. And that's the code really. So in summary it's just starting the drag when you're clicking on the mouse and then when we release the mouse button we're going to stop the drag. Okay, a little bit confusing but over time you'll get used to seeing this code and it will become quite simple to understand. So hold down the mouse, click on it to drag the shorts, release the mouse button to stop dragging the shorts. It's as simple as that. So if I press Control Enter, test that out now, I can now click and drag my shorts into position. But I can't do any of the others yet because I haven't put code on any of the other types of clothing yet. It's just the green shorts. What you're going to need to do is click on your next piece of clothing, which is the red shorts. Go to your code snippets panel, double click on drag and drop, and that puts the code in again for the red shorts. You need to do that for every piece of clothing. So double click on drag and drop for each piece of clothing. Okay, so that's all the code we need now. You can see that this one, the last one we put in, we've got the red shirt now. It's exactly the same code as the green shorts. We're listening for an event. We're listening for when the mouse is held down. When it is, the red shirt can start to be dragged. And while it's been dragged, we listen for one more event. That's when the mouse, or our finger, has been lifted up off that mouse button. And we're going to release to drop. So we release the mouse button and the red shirt will stop being dragged. Okay, so let's test it out by pressing Control Enter. Should be able to move every piece of clothing now around the stage. Looks like it's working, so you can mix and match colours to see which colours suit him best. We might throw the red shirt on him, a pair of green shorts. That might look any good, so we'll get rid of the green shorts. How about we try some blue shorts instead? Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you might be happy with that. So that's our drag and drop game. It's as simple as that to make. So you can close it up and save that into your account.